cells and they wouldn't appear in any product. They're simply to demonstrate um, a okay. core function. Um, the actual um, devices are obviously professionally manufactured and packaged. Okay, guys, this is now the... Okay, this is now the um, Orbo Webinar so 2. This is, is Stefan from overunity.com. It has a single USB port that can provide up to 2.1 amps output, so it can charge both uh, tablets as well as smartphones. It's the capability to provide a single tablet charge a day or between two and three smartphone charges. Um, this product is currently in production and will be shipping within the next six weeks. For people who are interested in ordering it, um, they need to email us at orders at orbo.com and the price is 1200 euros plus shipping the o phone is okay. a product that is going into production uh, later this year and will be available um, within the first couple of months in 2016. Um, it's a fairly simplistic phone it's a gsm gprs edge phone um, a very basic function retro phone and the components that are inside it are again a standard um, phone um, piece of electronics a standard lithium iron battery and two Orbo power cells. Uh, this is a phone that will never need to be recharged. Um, this is available for pre order by emailing orders at orbo.com. It's available for a price of 480 euros plus shipping. Uh -huh. During the first half of 2016, we'll be introducing some more products. I'm going to quickly um, show you two that are in the pipeline at the moment. One is an e cigarette. Um, uh, for those who don't know, e-cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, are battery powered. Um, the e-cigarette that we're introducing with our partner Wicked E-Juice um, is a no need to charge product and we expect to have that in the market by summer 2016. In addition, we're introducing a game controller for the popular game consoles. And again, this product is a product where the user doesn't have to charge it. And again, we expect to have that in the market before summer 2016. Interesting. Yeah, all for user testimonials, where it needs only a I would refer you to the Orbo Facebook page. Time to for anyone wishing operation. to purchase the O phone or the O cube, I would ask you to email orders at orbo.com. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time to look in today. Yeah, where it only needs some small time to operate and then has long enough time to recharge and it's probably not too bad. But the battery is dead. <laughs> it's not really true because it's going to need some iron and storage battery to store the trickle charge of this mobile. Is that just some video or oh, okay? Let's see. Let's see what the comments say. David, okay, thanks. 499 euros a uh, old phone. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Fucking rip off. <laughs> it's working for me in Galway. No price. And no price for the OFO. The bit is over. Uh, what a joke. That's it. More scams out of Ireland. Hmm. So. <coughs> so yeah, still a real webinar coming. Ah, oh, it's hangout on there. Hangouts on there. Let's see. The live stream is over. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Can we replay that somehow? Let's see.
let's see. Oh. Oh, come on. It's probably needs to render or something like this. No. Thanks for coming. The presenter has ended the broadcast. Hmm. Ah, too bad I was late a few minutes because my PC didn't record. Oh, shit. Orders at orbo.com, fiat, LET, euros, plus shipping for O4. Oh. Oh. Was it all oh, no question? And answer session. Is it over Unitor or an electret? Where's O oh girl? <laughs> yeah. Uh, glad I only wasted. What's up there? Yeah. Glad I only wasted ten minutes. Hmm, let's see if we can get this. Uh, and a replay here. I just subscribe. Ah, it's probably not yet rendered, so it doesn't play. Too bad. Okay, maybe I stop now and try to store this URL and uh, watch it later and paste it in here. Mm. Like for his it really over already damn I did miss the first ten minutes have not yet rendered on YouTube. Okay. Seam Sky, it's over. Let's see. Okay. Well. Welcome to the second in a series of webinars about our Arbo Energy Technology. Since the last webinar, I've had a number of questions about the technology and what we're going to do initially today is discuss the putting together of the cell, the battery and the implementation into a product. We're going to introduce you to two products that go on sale today directly after this webinar. From there we're going to discuss a series of Orbo products that are presently in the Orbo pipeline and finally we're going to go through the functions and functionality of the OQ. So what we're going to do here is uh, show in a very simple format um, the basic construction of a cell that forms part of the power pack. Uh, really there are only two components, there's a conductive metal um, and there's this uh, specially fabricated sheet that uh, consists of conductive metal strip and then a layer of fairly specialized materials. What's unusual okay, about um, this strip here is that it is non-conducting so if you look at the ohm meter here you can see that we're in the mega ohm range uh, so it's very very high resistance and just to demonstrate that the ohm meter is reading correctly and as you can see the conducting metal itself 
is, um, as you would expect, uh, very low uh, to zero resistance. So again, we have um, a substance here, a layer that is very high resistance versus a non, uh, fully conducting um, low resistance metal. So in order to construct a cell, um, what we're going to do is measure with uh, the oscilloscope. As you can see, I have two ends of the probe shorted out. Um, if I open them up, you'll see there's quite a bit of electrical noise in the environment. Anyway, what I'll do is connect the um, positive to one side. And then just to demonstrate that the generation of a voltage is as simple as, obviously I'm touching this, um, as simple as holding this down. Um, you'll see that um, it will stabilize. Now, DC in order to take any influence okay. that my physical contact is going to do, we're just going to simply add a wire, fold it over. And again, this is a simple demonstration. Okay, now we try to wire, fix the wire to this. Fold it over, and that's giving us electrical contact foil. with the top plate. And I will simply take this down. Um, so, obviously, any energy that's being imparted from my hands is now no longer in play and when I connect this what okay. you'll see okay. yeah, is that we have DC voltage with some a voltage um, uh. the material is piezoelectric so it um, to an extent so it'll take a while to sta stabilize mm -hmm. okay. um, and it's also quite good at picking up ambient energy um, a couple of the things to note about this is that if I short out the cell, obviously we will go to a VOC of zero, um, but deshorting it, it will immediately bounce back to um, its inherent potential. In many ways, that looks very similar to good, a yeah. galvanic cell. Obviously, in a galvanic cell, you would expect to see um, some electrolyte um, allowing ion transfer. In this case, as you can see, everything is dry. Um, another unusual aspect is that the VOC, which in this case for this um, size cell is um, maybe about um, uh, 0.4, 0.5 of a volt, is actually a function of surface area and not a function of, um, of an electrochemical potential as you would see in a galvanic cell. So again, what we can simply do is short out and release and you will see that we're on a scale there of 100 millivolts, so about 0.3 of a volt coming off this cell. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, it really doesn't matter how long I short out the two cells. Um, since we're not degrading any electrochemical potential, when I release it, it will return to the inherent voltage of the cell itself. What we did, um, previously is that we made a very simple cell, um, obviously hand-built, and what we've done here is simply connected a bunch of them together. And what we demonstrated is that a cell produced a voltage. Um, obviously, um, a voltage across a load does work. Uh, what we're going to do now is simply demonstrate these very simple hand-built cells doing work. So they're wired together, and I have a resistor, and I'm simply going to plug the resistor in and then measure the voltage across the resistor. So as you can see, we've got a voltage across the resistor that's steadily rising. Um, that will find its own level. So what we can say about that very simple test is that work is being done. Um, and again, it's a slightly curious effect that um, the more current that flows, the more work is done. Uh, but again, it's just a simple example of work being done. A second simple example, um, obviously, any current flowing through here is simply being dissipated as heat through the resistor is that we can do exactly the same thing um, put a capacitor across it um, in which case we'll be charging up the capacitor um, we could connect a battery and so on to do exactly the same thing but if I take the capacitor I'm going to make sure it's shorted out um, so that we start at zero and what we're going to do is simply leave that run I'm going to change the time scale so that you can see that the capacitor itself does charge, i.e. that we're taking energy from these simple hand-built cells. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Looks good, yeah, that it's charging now. 
What did he say? How much? How many millivolts? One hundred millivolts per cell? So obviously, like what you've seen are hand-built cells, and they wouldn't appear in any product. They're simply to demonstrate um, a core function. Um, the actual um, devices are obviously professionally manufactured and packaged. Uh -huh. okay. So the O Cube is a USB charging device. It has a single USB port that can provide up to 2.1 amps output, so it can charge both uh, tablets as well as smartphones. It's the capability to provide a single tablet charge a day or between two and three smartphone charges. Um, this product is currently in production and will be shipping within the next six weeks. For people who are interested in ordering it, um, they need to email us at orders at orbo.com and the price is 1200 euros plus shipping. The Ophone is a product that is going into production uh, later this year and will be available um, within the first couple of months in 2016. Um, it's a fairly simplistic phone. It's a GSM, GPRS, Edge phone, um, a very basic function retro phone. And the components that are inside it are, again, a standard um, phone um, piece of electronics, a standard lithium-ion battery, and two Orbo power cells. Uh, this is a phone that will never need to be recharged. Um, this is available for pre-order by emailing orders at orbo.com. It's available for a price of 480 euros plus shipping. Mm -hmm. During the first half of 2016, okay. we'll be introducing some more products. I'm going to quickly um, show you two that are in the pipeline at the moment. One is an e-cigarette. Um, uh, for those who don't know, e-cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, are battery powered. Um, the e-cigarette that we're introducing with our partner Wicked E-Juice um, is a no-need-to-charge product and we expect to have that in the market by summer 2016. In addition, we're introducing a game controller for the popular game consoles and again, this product is a product where the user doesn't have to charge it and again, we expect to have that in the market before summer 2016. All right. For user testimonials, I would refer you to the Orbo Facebook page. For anyone wishing to purchase the O phone or the O cube, I would ask you to email orders at orbo.com. Right. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time to look in today. a bit because uh, otherwise it might get me a copyright strike all right so this was only a short presentation pretty interesting so these cells seems to charge at least capacitors and probably then also the lithium ion batteries but the question is uh, will they last that's that's still a big question so um, Let's see if, if that the same here. Uh, no, it still hasn't rendered. Okay, that's done. It's probably over. All right, then thanks for watching, and we will see how this all comes out. It's pretty interesting. So for low power devices, which are only used in yeah once or twice a day not too long that's probably not a bad uh, solution i guess okay maybe they can still scale that up to bigger power levels we'll see in the future okay thanks for joining and watching and uh, please subscribe uh, not to miss the next video and uh, bye bye for now stefan signing out bye bye